What is up guys? Have a fun deck for you today. Today's deck is we're doing Devotion Nature's Gift. With a very specific focus on doing as much symbiosis and as much nature as we can possibly fit into it. So obviously the stronger versions of these are going to be the Devotionalist where you run things like Heat Wave, Gord, right? But I, I thought we'd just go in on the kind of theme of this and see what exactly we can get in. Uh, and the deck, so very surprising amount of points. When you get five, six, seven, right, uh, symbiosis units down, holy cow, every time you play the nature card, it's playing Ford's value, which tends to be around four or five, and then you're spawning a seven point unit. Really great value. Um, so for symbiosis, obviously, we have Ethne Young Queen, and because we're devotion, we get our last phase, so an extra symbiosis. We are doing Saskia. Right, she keeps getting buffs. The harmony buff isn't as relevant here. It might get you a couple extra points, but we get another young dryad. Uh, we have Fresine. Apologize for mispronouncing that. Which, with devotion, we get to boost the dryad in our hand, and we spawn the young dryad. So there's another. We have two Hama dryads. We have a Dwan Canal guardian, and then we have these abandoned girls, plus the passive of nature's gift itself. Then we're running just about every nature card. In the game, uh, we have Call of the Forest, Shaping Nature, Isingram's Council, Zoltan's Company, two Nature Rebukes, one Circle of Life, two Dryad's Caresses, and Tempering. I, I believe that's all of them. Oh, it'd just be Water of Broncolon. Yeah, so that's hard to fit in this deck. I mean, I guess you theoretically could. Not getting too much value. But then we also just have really great cards like Forest Protector, which gives us another Nature card. We have Great Oak, which is slams down so many cards saskia and ethne are good set up for it for getting that row filled up uh dunka of course and yeah just kind of rest a little bit self-explanatory a little bit of protection there for some of our units so yeah there, there's a quick breakdown of the deck i hope that kind of makes sense this deck definitely has a lot of points has a little bit of control might not be the best for climbing ladder but it's a fun deck to play um, pretty nice one to look at too. All the kind of colors and spawning and all the boost and vitality and stuff. So yeah, enjoy to play. There's a quick breakdown. Let's hop into the games. You crossed the wrong sorceress. I like this hand. We, uh, again, a miner would be nice for some protection. We at least on red coin. I think. Well, we could protect Dunka with Frisione. And, sorry for mispronouncing that. I don't know, I like this hand. Got lots of, maybe we should kick some nature. We'll, uh, kick a little bit. Okay. So we'll go Frisione into Dunka. Get that rolling, and then I think we might just go ahead and drop Saskia. Okay, armor. Either just protecting something, or maybe we have a meme deck. Would love the meme decks. Okay, um, yeah, so we'll do that. We want to play it melee, probably. On transforming cards, do they keep their boosts? Okay, it'll probably give me one of the little ones that change into Music these young dryads. Nope, gives me a Hey, more nature. Too mad. Uh. No, no, no. We're going Dunker. That's right. Okay. Good targets. I guess we, if she hits one onto Young Queen, we'll see. But this is requiring seven removal, can't be locked. Okay, well it just gets moved. And probably a, uh, yeah. Oh, well, we lost carryover value, that kind of sucks. I think we're gonna drop this. Uh, choke the embers, wind blow out the flame. I don't know if I'm gonna do Saskia. And I think we'll just start dropping. 
dropping all of our nature cards. And we can go and start dropping some now. I think that might be fun. Fortunately, with all these nature cards, like the Circle of Life boost, hopefully he's going to one of these two. Okay, Great Oak. Uh, it's a lot of points for us. Wow. Does this guy forget he's playing Squirtle and not Nilfgaard? Like, am I... Is it this a Squirtel mill deck? That'd be hilarious. Um... So let's go with this. Go and get trend max value out of that. And then we'll just kind of play as the hand gives us. I, I really hope this person can try and mill me a squid tail. Like, that's phenomenal. And I'm rather this card be pulled out than Ethne. Okay, Iron Falcon Infantry. All right. Shins up, men, and smiles wide. I honestly think we can save Saskia just because we're ready to start pouring in so many points. I like the start though. I like a little bit more creative and original. Like, and especially if you lose something like this, like you're honestly not that mad, because it's better than losing ball for the twentieth time in one day, you know. Uh, but I'm curious a little bit what else they're playing. So it seems like we've definitely got some armor stuff going on here, though I don't know why. Squirtel. Squirtel mill. Squirtel armor. Like, you'd think this would be in a dwarf's deck, right? A little bit better armor synergies. Okay, what you gonna play, opponent? Snowdrop? Really getting some interesting stuff now. Like, I feel like this person made a Nilfgaard deck or Skellige deck like this and then forgot that they accidentally made it in Squirtle. <laughs> um, where do we go here? Nice. It's the boost I like to see. Okay, Wackenberg. Pretty good combo for him. I think we'll go Rebuke next. Ah, probably, Caress is probably going to be better earlier because we have that Vitality. We could put it onto the Homodryad. Okay, what's he doing? I was trying to set it up, whereas if I pass, he can be fine to pass. But yeah, Chief, that's not happening. We're going Greed. Because we're on Red Coin. I mean, Red Coin's broken, right? He kills it. Oh well, we're on Red Coin. We're fine. Red coin is bonkers. I. We're still in it though. Okay, now we're getting into like, do we want to actually play it? You know. But we have ten points on him with this extra tick. I have to drop Sasuke, I have to drop it. Uh, we'll kind of see what he's playing with. But I'm curious what the rest of his gold package is going to be like, you know? That's what I want to try and flush out. Alzer's Thunder. Thunder. 
Yeah, okay, full leader. I don't know, I think he's running out of stuff to play. Like, do I go ahead and commit Force Protector? Sure. We could shut that engine off, maybe. But in a short round, this is going to be better. We'll do this. I think we have him now. These two in uh, round three will be phenomenal. But yeah, we losing Great Oak here sucks. And I, I honestly like the smarter line there is probably to say Force Protector. But okay, there's Heat Wave. One hundred percent worth it. And he's gonna pat. Uh, he gets it now. Maybe I should have used a leader charge. Well, I think we'll go ahead and pass here. He survived. Getting rid of Heat Wave was nice, though. We get a single Homodryad, and he has no other tall removal. Like, in addition to these two cards, like, we're, we're super fine. Okay, good dry pass card. Okay. Pulls nature. What kind of nature do we have left? That'll be good. It's fine. Yeah, we'll keep this. He wants to fight it out. We got the cards for it. He wants to try a pass. Well, we got a try a pass card. All right. I'm sorry. I am. I'll be good now. I promise. Draw the homodryad. Come on. I'm not asking you to draw golds. I'm asking you to draw bronzes. Can you do that, Gwent? Can you do that? Downside here is we have only like. Our, our gold selection isn't going to be super hot. Okay, like, looking back, like, if we're losing this game, we probably lost it in round one type of deal. Uh. Sure. I guess we lead with this. In case we have to drop a nature card, we are, we'll have more symbiosis than whereas if we go Saskia first. If he kind of plays nothing, then we'll go Saskia. Whatever that card is called. Dwin Canel. Dwin Canel. Northern Wind. What the heck? Alright. My old name? I don't remember. Guess I'm playing into a Bowman with that move. Okay, just another House of Thunder. Wheel. Wheel. Go this first, see what we pull. The only good human is nice. a dead human. Mother Earth, I grant you my life. From you it came, to you it returns. Go ahead and use one leader charge to try and get as many boosts as possible off that before he locks it or something. Because this guy seems to have quite a bit of control. Uh, call the four. Well, this is probably play for more, maybe. No, definitely that. We'll do like Call of the Force for Abandoned Girl, I guess. I wish these came down for a little bit stronger. Like if spawn two young drives in this row and boost them by one. Like that would be nice, you know? Okay, so we're gonna go here. <laughs> Call the forest. Call you. Moment, let me see it. I don't want to call it yet, but I, I think this guy is really gonna struggle to get points, and we still have two nature cards coming down with five symbiosis. So, we, we got some pain coming in. A 
Hey, nice. Follow your passions, lads. Just look at me. Oh, I love my job. I love it. Purify boost. Oh shoot! I forgot to transform. What an idiot! What an idiot! Watch me lose by that. By one point. Kind of trying to spread out my boost here, but would your didn't even matter? Hey, three points. Okay, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna boost by eight. Guess you. All right, sixty-two twenty-one. I think we have it, but you never know. You never know. But I don't think he's coming up with forty-five points. Actually, we might have forty-six, something like that. Hey, we'll take a win though. We'll take it. We'll take it. Good match. Good match. Uprising. Onward! Attack! Red coin on this deck can be nice. Um, because you can set up slow and be fine for that. And then we start playing on your nature cards, get massive payups for it. Okay, I do like Dunka here. Would probably like a miner to protect. I think we'll kick one of these triad. Okay. Sure. I think we can just throw down a Dunka and see if we can get our spawns from it. If the king demands a head, I'll give him yours. And he might not be able to adequate, adequately kill it, and then we can just start boosting it up if we have to. The only good dwarf is a dead dwarf. Let's see what he's got. Let's okay, he yeah, did have something. All right, so in plan here is we're gonna play all of our symbiosis units, and then finally start playing nature units. I'm looking here; might be a little bit of the Dun Banner spawning. Don't leave me here, not alone. I beg you. It's very, very likely chance here. That leader and done banners, very likely. Okay, new smoke them out. Nice buff. It's not super good. Like, it fills a good requirement because it's really good for setting up crew mechanics and get some extra bodies on the board. Like, it had a lot of synergies, it's just at five provisions. Not super hot. Bet my apple you'll not leave Brooklyn. Not alive okay, now we start playing nature cards. We start getting some pretty decent payoffs. We should at least. <laughs> okay, what is this? Wow. <laughs> what? That's the highest unit? Go and damage that so it loses the boost by two that you'll have to at least commit other ones to it. But yeah, look at this. Coming down for four. If he passes here, we might be in a little bit of a pickle. I think we'll go ahead and pass now. Long live the king! Yeah, that's a little bit too much to too much for us to deal with. But kind of curious what this person's running. If double cross pulls Anna as your highest unit. Maybe some unit list stuff going on in there, or that's just a full on just. That's what card I opened in the keg, and we're running it. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't want two of these. Okay, I do like the. Guess that can be your dry pass card. Um, sure. If it looks like they're gonna play, we'll drop Saskia first. Okay, they're just passing. We'll go with our miner. 
It's rare you see dry passes these days. Um, I have a link to it in the video of the discussion I just had about the kind of whole, I think, the general nature of way Gwent games are played, how it has changed to where bleeding is a huge factor in games now. Alright, we need Great Oak or Ethne. Yeah, missing both of those kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So an awkward thing about hands like this is obviously, right, his first plays, we're going to want to shut off with these, you know? But, you also want to sit there and set up your symbiosis units. So our first play, though, is, in fact, going to be for Ethne. Mm. We need that. My old messenger. Let I don't us remember. answer without I don't us. care. And we'll save these charges because we've got two Hamadryads, so they should be able to pop off. Hopefully just kind of play something slow. Okay, he is playing that. <clears throat> Jeez, voice crack attack. Um, uh, where do we go? I guess we can go ahead and set this up. Let's hurry. I would bet my apple you'll not leave If he's got Vizagoto, we're screwed. Um, but if you just kind of play whatever, might stand a chance. And well, there's Vizagota. There to be. Another battle, another entry in the chronicles. So we'll go here. Dog trees live longer than humans. They need. Okay, we're gonna have a massive amount of symbiosis here. Oh boy, this feels nice. This, this is the game you search for. Left, right, left. We are getting right. clapped, though, unfortunately. Uh, choke the embers. Wind, blow out the flame. Okay, now we start having fun with this. Do we go super greedy? Do we go super greedy? I, I think we just go super again greedy. And again and again. Uh, I don't know if I can. Screw it. I don't care. I don't care. Look at that. Coming down for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And leader gives us seven. Oh, man. Hey, stop that. That's illegal. I'm totally playing into anything he could possibly have. Yeah. Yeah. I deserve it, but yeah. Come forth, coward, and you're on doom confront. Uh I unfortunately it's our only choice. I guess we just put like the last one here. Need to go ahead and get that moving. Of course, I maybe should have actually saved it for that, for our hyper greed. By Zagoda. Such a broken card if it lives. It's another joke. Well, I'm glad I didn't put the leader charge on that. Such a broken card for only eight provisions. And I'm honestly shocked it's sometimes just not thrown into more decks. Just because if you get lucky and it lives, well, there you go. Okay, maybe I should have tried to take that out a lot sooner and I could have possibly. I don't know. But we got one more nature card. What are we going to pull? That, probably. Look at all this, though. What's he pulling? I mean, we're still up in points here. Whoa. That's a card? Hey, that's illegal. Okay, so which one's going to play for the most points here? This is just five. Uh, yeah, so it honestly doesn't matter. 
We'll just do this. Who cares? Boom. Boost. Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought this was a done deal. Well, of course, if he has Varaxis, I think it is. And he still has Leader. Yeah. That's unfortunate. And he gets more Vise to go to charges. What is it? Curse Corruption. Yeah. I mean, we played into it. What can I say? But hey, look at look at that. We actually had somebody else's popping off here. 